Good morning, guys. It's another Saturday, and I am back at South Platte River. Look at that sunrise, and look at my guards. They're gonna watch over my my car where I left. Whole bunch of huskies <laughs> sitting here. So yeah, look at the sun coming up. Look at that gorgeous view. And I think, what I'm thinking, the conditions are right to get that river picture I was talking to you about a uh, couple videos back. Basically the last time I came to South Platte. It's a little bit foggy. Um, and I really think that I'm going to be able to snap a good picture so now it's a matter of me making my way over there um, it's gonna be about half a mile walk sun's coming up uh, conditions really really are perfect like it's about 32 degrees right now and uh, yeah I can see the fog lifting off the fields and stuff so uh, it should be the case once I get to the river as well but now I just want to show you again look at that sunrise sun's coming up it's pretty cool all right I, I gotta make my way I gotta hurry up and make my way over to the river so I'm coming up to the river and it looks like uh, there's not enough fog. I can see in the distance, but not where I'm at. Uh, it looks like the air had to be colder, but there's still, still pretty views with the sun coming up. Uh, it just looks, looks so cool. So yeah. We'll try to make the best out of it, what we got here. That's still pretty, pretty cool. Oh guys, I was wrong, look at this. Look at this fog. Oh my God. This is what I came for. This is absolutely stunning. Like all of a sudden, I just walked a little bit away from, from where I was and I'm in this thick fog this is gonna make excellent pictures <sighs> I just gotta be quick now because these conditions are not gonna last forever so see you in a bit so guys look at this these are things like which you can't ignore how beautiful it is and uh when you travel somewhere, you know, and you go about your day, you travel to your next location, look around and see. Like for me, I wouldn't have known uh, this place if I wouldn't have paid attention, you know, and, and, and saw that fog last year. And uh, right there and then I knew I would have to come back here when the conditions would be right and it happened to be that it's Saturday and I can be out here absolutely stunning oh man I love it yep, let me take more pictures look I came up and I there were two ducks which flew away it scared me more than I scared them because you really can't see anything I can hear this bird making the noise. I don't know what kind of bird that is. I'm not sure. I don't think it's a kill deer. I don't know what kind of bird that is. Look at me around. Look at around me here. I gotta try to find a spot where I can, I don't wanna fall in here. Cause it looks pretty muddy and just uh, yeah get to the spot where I can 
be close to the river and wait till the fog lifts a little bit more. And that would make uh, for an excellent picture. So yeah, let's just walk around and find that spot now. I'll be back with you shortly. Wow. So I think I found a spot. Ah, look, there's a bridge behind me. So the fog is lifting up rapidly. So I gotta be here quick to capture this moment. Uh, so yeah, let's just take some pictures. Look at that. All the fog is gone, pretty much. So what a crazy few minutes. So yeah, you just gotta be here at the right time, right before the sunrise. It still looks absolutely wonderful. Wow, what a morning. Went through these bushes. Kind of come here and see what my view would be from here. Oh, look at the sun coming up. There's some ducks in the river. Anyway, I don't blame them. This is one cool place. What is here on the banks of the South Flat River? Probably be too much. Yeah, there are the ducks flying around. I don't know if you can see or not. It's pretty, pretty cool. Great morning. Well, tell you this I'm gonna switch out my lens. I'm gonna go back uh, and walk the same path and along the river like I was a couple weeks ago and uh, snap some duck pictures or whatever else I can get this morning. But so far, I mean, it, it has already paid off what I came for. So that was my, my original plan to come out and get the river and the fog and the little woods around it and the fog, foggy conditions. So I got that. Um, all the pictures are gonna be posted at the end of the video. So yeah, let me switch out my, my lens and, and walk back. I'm just walking to the bridge. Now we'll cross over and get back on the path. Um, as I was switching out my lenses, uh, kind of glanced over my camera mirror and I saw some dust on it. So, <laughs> I mean, what can you do, you know? That just means the camera is gonna have to go in the shop and get cleaned. But uh, let's not that uh, discourage us for, from uh, uh, having a good time here. And ooh, and uh, just go and, and, and take some duck pictures or whatever we can get. Uh, there's still a little bit of snow out from the storm we had last week, but majority is already melted and gone, which is good. And the top layer of the snow has like it's crossed over and uh, I could 
a pretty easy walk on it without falling right through so that's good uh, so yeah let's just carry on and, and uh, get on the other side of the river now and uh, yeah just explore again I really like this place I can tell you that and uh, another thing is uh, the river does not smell as bad as it was last time I was here so uh, that's a good thing because last time yeah it was pretty nasty so here's the bridge I'm gonna be crossing over all right time for my big lens let's just keep walking Oh, look at that view a little bit of fog is starting to lift off the river again just a little bit nothing like it was before just want to show you it's pretty cool Very, very nice place to come. Look at this big tree growing here. It's pretty cool. And I wanted to show you over here, look at all the fog. That's pretty epic, man, pretty cool. Yeah, the sun still can't get out from the clouds. Very nice morning. Is that a hawk or a crow or something? Somebody's flying. I'm just gonna walk. Down here, I, I've seen a kingfisher again. He's flying around, making all kinds of noises. But yeah, what a what a beautiful and what a beautiful and quiet morning this is. I love all this fog. There's some ducks and geese, and it's the same same thing, you know. They're just so alert. And the minute I make a move, off they go. Look, I, I'm not even doing anything. All of them just took off. They're just so on alert. And I actually, I watched a video on YouTube from, uh, forgot the guy's name. I think it was Hillier, Morton Hillier. Uh, he's uh, he's from Denmark and he's a wildlife photographer and he kind of confirmed my my thoughts about uh, look at that blue heron flying he, he he basically confirmed my theory that uh, so it's a natural behavior for them to take off whenever they feel like uh, they're in danger so when you raise something up to your eye, they may think it's a gun or whatever. That's just like in, programmed in their genes. And so that's why they're so skittish. While other birds who are always around the people, you know, they're not scared. And they let you pretty close. So that's that. Look at that. Whoa, man. What a, what a view. Oh, my Lord. I got to try to take a picture of that look at all them trees coming out of the fog let me put this camera down oh man I'm telling you what a morning this is by far one of one of my favorite if, if not the most favorite moment in the last year morning like this is the fog all the moody um, scenery around me and it's so calm there's literally nobody here 
just like the way I like it and it's just me and the nature and fog and birds and oh I'm living a dream right now I wish I could enjoy this every day I I I love it I, I love it so much that I can't even explain it how much it is it's just really um, helps is my mental state of mind I mean uh, I work uh, in construction business you know and uh, it can get really really stressful throughout the week and uh, and if I can't get out anywhere you know like and uh, I have been stuck at home or whatever you know and it just drags me down and I'm in a bad mood and stressed out and can't relax can't sleep these walks like this with my camera when there's nobody around and to observe all this beauty I mean nothing can get better than that even if I don't get any pictures taken um, I'm fine with it just to be just to be uh, alive you know <laughs> and being able to walk around and enjoy these moments it's the worst of uh, it, it's worth a million dollars you know no money can ever buy that at moments like this look at all this look at all this scenery you know all the fog look how cool it is you know like in Colorado we don't have this every day we really don't you know usually it's it's hot in the summertime you know and uh it would be already 70 some degrees out there and uh but yeah like this time of year this is the only time when we get all this fog and and, and look how cool it is it, it's just so beautiful so yeah guys if you can get out I mean seriously if you haven't gotten out yet or just thinking about it and you're always in a bad mood or whatever just go out uh, go for a walk you know get out you don't have to have the camera just make the small trips around you know your local area where you live at and I'm I mean I, I parked my car now in a different spot than at that animal shelter you know and it's even closer and uh, so it was an easy drive, you know, it literally took me 15 minutes to get here. And uh, so, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely going to come back here in the summertime if I can. And, uh, and just explore more what's around me. Oh, look at all that fog, man. Look how beautiful that is. Insane. Wow, this is just awesome. All right, let's just keep walking and enjoying this morning. So guys, look at this white foam again. And uh, it stinks again. I don't know what the heck they're putting in that water. But it smells really bad, what a shame. If you can see it farther down, I don't know how well you can see there's like little rapids like we came here last time too. And uh, all that foam is, is floating down the Platte River. It's just gross. I don't know where the city is looking at. Um, are they actually aware of it that there's some kind of pollution going on and the water is basically filled with some kind of crap somebody's letting in something in the river and it shouldn't be that way at all I, I, I just don't like that at all it's such a such a poor management you know it's pretty 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 awful there's a blackbird up on the treetop. Hey, blackbird. You ain't that scared, are you? Are you? 
Aha, Singer Saison. Come on. Oh, no, that's it. No songs for you. But yeah, it's very, very polluted. That a dead duck. It sure freaking is. I don't believe so. Man, what a or oh, is that a decoy? No, that's a dead duck. Look, this is this is the exactly the result of this damn pollution what it has caused to this duck you can see it he's dead all in this white foam so great job city of brighton i believe for letting this shit happen look at that pollution look look how you can't see but how stinky this is good god yeah, this sucks. Well, hopefully, if anybody watches this video, they could tag the, tag the city of Brighton or whatever is around here to look into this problem. But, yeah, that white foam is something. It's just not natural, and it stinks. Look at all this white crap coming off the train. Just a bubble from the water. It stinks, I can smell it. Uh, and it's all just sits there. Look at all the foam. All right, on to more positive things. I just turned the corner here and uh, look at that fog. Look how beautiful it is. We're not gonna talk about the contaminated water anymore. Um, all's been said already. Uh, this is just awesome. Let's just enjoy the beauty. Oh, hi, duckies. Back, back, back. Yeah, I'm just enjoying my walk now. Well, I think uh, I'm trying to uh, make my videos about 30 minutes long and uh, i think we're getting pretty close to be at 30 minutes after the editing is gonna be done so um i'm gonna end it early here and um i truly truly enjoyed this morning and this video actually came out a, a little bit of environmental talking about the contamination of the water and uh, but overall overall this morning has been great and uh, like all the scenery I've seen all the pictures I've taken they're all gonna be posted at the end of this video 
and uh, overall this place is awesome besides all the river issues uh, the walk around here is just absolutely wonderful um, the scenery is wonderful if you come out early in the morning so highly recommend um, if you're in Colorado area um, the location is uh, roughly um, 120th and Riverdale um, you can park your car and come for this walk around here and, and enjoy your time and uh, yeah I'm gonna end here and then again thank you to everybody who has watched my videos and I really really appreciate it uh, I'm glad you're sticking around and watching the guy just <laughs> walking around taking pictures and, and speaking his mind so I really appreciate it so yeah if you if you like this video please subscribe um, press the like button um, also you can press that notification bell that will let you know when the new video is out we're trying to do it every weekend but sometimes it's like a couple weeks in between but yeah if you like what we do uh, please support us it doesn't cost you anything but it means a lot to me so thank you again thank you for watching and see you next time somewhere else in some other location we're, we're of course gonna plan to go somewhere so don't know where yet but uh, yeah hopefully you have a great Saturday Sunday weekend and have a great week ahead of you signing off this is Giannis thank you see you next time bye